Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back! Spider-Man No Way Home is drawing in a lot of hype right now. A new trailer was released earlier this week that has a lot of fans excited. But what do I want to see in Spider-Man No Way Home? Do I want to see Spider-Man No Way Home? Let's discuss that right now, shall we? With the new trailer released, a lot of new details were revealed in this trailer. And a lot of details are being kept secret, at least that's what the studio execs want to believe. Marvel Studios has a tendency to overhype their movies, and they're hyping this one a lot. I don't want to get too excited about it just yet, but I would like to see it. The trailers show that the story will cross multiverses, similar to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This latest trailer clearly revealed the Green Goblin from the very first Spider-Man movie, Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2, the Sandman from Spider-Man 3, the Lizard from The Amazing Spider-Man, and Electro from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It may have hinted at other villains from those movies. I won't talk about that today. And we also know that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are going to be in Spider-Man No Way Home. It's no secret, even though the studio execs tried a little to keep that a secret. <laughs> it's no secret. There were some photos leaked that showed Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire on set in costume. And Andrew Garfield did a recent video interview, I believe, where he said that he is in the movie. In other words, the studio execs want to not want to want to reveal this secret. Some fans have analyzed the trailer and claimed that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire were digitally removed from some shots in the trailer. I will not go into that, but we know that they're going to be in it, and my hope is that they will be in the movie and used advantageously. That's another thing Marvel Studios has the tendency to do is not use their actors to their best advantage. So I hope that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire can contribute to the story to the best degrees possible. Because Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man movies were all fun. All three of them. Especially the third one. If you want to know my full thoughts on that movie, I did a video recently that you can view in the info cards that I have attached above. And The Amazing Spider-Man 2, this was the movie that I loved. This was the movie that I dreamed of watching ever since I was a kid. I was so happy to see this movie come to fruition. And it was sad to me when so many fans pretended that it was bad just to get The Amazing Spider-Man 3 cancelled and then get Spider-Man to join the Avengers. I know that fans were pretending that it was bad, because when Cap Civil War released, there were fans going into Cap Civil War expecting to see Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man and were shocked to see that it wasn't Andrew Garfield. So yes, fans were pretending that it was bad. With Tom Holland as Spider-Man, he was fine in Cap Civil War. Spider-Man Homecoming was an okay movie. Okay enough that I was happy to accept this jacket as a gift for Christmas that year. <laughs> and Avengers Endgame? Tom Holland did a good job in that. Spider-Man Far From Home sucked. And now with Spider-Man No Way Home, I hope that this can be a good movie. And again, I hope that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire can contribute to this movie to the best degrees possible. Even if it's not a great movie, I hope that it'll be fun. And I hope that it'll be a fun way to spend the Christmas season. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, because Christmas is supposed to be fun, right? So I hope it is fun. As fun as this Santa hat I have right here. <laughs> Will I see Spider-Man No Way Home right when it releases? I don't know about that. But I'll see it when I see it. And I'll let you know what I think. Do you look forward to seeing Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man No Way Home? Let me know in the comments section. Like and share if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Hit the bell if you want notifications. I'm creating for you. Have a great week and a great life, and always love yourself for who you are. Godspeed.